is hanging out with Lilo Underquilts. We're here today to show you our new suspension. We think we've combined the best of side channel suspension and corner suspension. And we're going to show you this. Uh, and we, I've tested it for about a year. And this is the final version. And we think it's going to work really well for you. As most of you know, there's been two types of major quilt suspensions out there. One that's a corner attachment. Lee has used the line locks from the corners for the last two, two and a half years, which allows a lot of control. It goes out the end of the hammock. You can adjust each individual corner. Once you have it adjusted, the quilt stays right where you put it, which we thought was a big advantage. The other type of quilt suspension out there was channel suspension, where the cord slides through the channel. The advantage of that was once you're in the hammock, you could move the quilt up and down. The disadvantage to it, though, it would allow it to bunch toward the center, and sometimes when it get really cold, you'd have a cold spot in the middle. If your quilt was adjusted right, uh, you could eliminate that problem, but it was still there. Well, I was watching a uh, video from Grizzly Adams on his Cuban underquilt, and I noticed he had combined both of them. So I contacted him and asked if we could test this system out on lease quilts, and he said that was fine. So we want to give a big thanks to Grizz Adams for the uh, combining these two ideals and letting us use it in, this, in our quilts. So what I've done over the last year is test different combinations of cord, shot cord lengths, and we think we've come up with the optimum combination of lightweight line and shot cord that will stretch enough to not uh, have any problems with uh, breaking. I want to show you a little bit closer up shot of it. You can see the line lock here that we've always used. It allows the line to go up through a mitten hook that floats on the line, and it comes back down through the side channel suspension. It is joined with some shot cord that goes through the channel. This allows plenty of stretch, and we'll show that in a minute. But you can just adjust it. It allows slides in or out. What this does is give you full control over the corners, which Lee has always used and we felt like was the uh, best at, at that time. But what this shot cord through the side does is allow it to seal to the hammock, so you don't have any problems with sealing along the sides of the hammock. And we think that's the biggest advantage to the side suspension in this combination and how it works. You can see that the quilt will stretch way down out of the way so you got plenty of stretch to get in and out of the hammock. If for some reason you missed your hammock and hit the quilt, which I know some of you have done, the, there's some safety factors built in. One, the mitten hooks will break if uh, before the quilt would give. We've had that happen with uh, customers and replace mitten hooks. Also the line locks, the tech line is a little bit small for the line locks. It holds under uh, when it needs to, but if you were to fall into it, it would slide right here too. And uh, that is another built-in safety factor. So I think we've come up with the best combination of the heavier shot cord and the lightweight tech line. And I've tested this for about uh, almost a year, last few months, and uh, it has worked really well and uh, reduces weight on the quilt and allows the quilt to seal better to the hammock, but you still got the control over each corner of the quilt. The last part of suspension, and it's the same thing we've used on the uh, previous suspensions, is a triangle. On this, you notice this is a netted uh, hammock with a ridge line underneath the net. So what this done? This is just a simple cord to form a triangle with some loops that uh, hold the hooks, and uh, you just tie it around your suspension, the knot, the straps. It, it'll adjust about anything. We use this uh, particular cord because it's soft. If you don't like the color, you can always change that out and make your own lengths. But we found this to be an optimum length for uh, a Blackbird hammock and uh, in most of your 120 inch hammocks. And you can see it's simple, effective. Uh, we come up with the uh, triangle things a long time ago. We just think this is a simpler way of doing it. Hey, I wanted to show you a shot with the hammock occupied. Won't be able to stay in here too long. Uh, it's in the 70s and I'm kind of already hot getting in. But you can see that the uh, there's plenty of stretch. The shot cord has tons of room to stretch, so we don't have to worry about a minimal amount of shot cord in this channel not being enough. You can see what the best thing is, is look at this. Boom, snaps right back. You're sealed all the time. It does the same thing on the other end. We find that that is the best thing about side channel uh, suspension is that it allows it to pull into the hammock. So you eliminate all the seal problems or any floppy sides or anything you may have, even though we never really had problems with the shorter quilts. It just makes it that much better. In the winter, you're going to be able to get every ounce of the heat retained with this. Uh, you can see that uh, I think this is the best combination. It holds the quilt perfectly in place. It's not sliding around. You're not going to have cold spots underneath at all because of the way it's pulling 
and seal them to the sides. Show you a wide angle of a uh, netless hammock. It's a gathered in 120 inch hammock with a ridge line. These are actually the easiest to put any underquilt on, and uh, we want to show you that up a little closer. You can see this is pretty much the same from here that we had on the uh, Blackbird netted hammock, except we're using pressic loops on the uh, ridge line. A lot of people use this, but if you have an exposed ridge line that you can use, this is absolutely the best way to attach your quilts. Because you got full adjustment, you can adjust the length here and adjust uh, on the ends. Very simple, but the most effective way that you can adjust your uh, the quilts on it. Another shot from inside the hammock where everything's a little more open. Uh, this is far enough away, you're not going to have problems, but getting this angle up is key to getting your quilt suspension as opposed to pulling out too far. You can see again that it's very well sealed. You can see it on this one on both sides that is pulling in the seal up. This is one of my favorite combinations right here. So we've shown you how the suspension works on both types of hammocks, a, a hammock without a net and a netted hammock like the Blackbird. We think that this uh, suspension, although it adds a little bit more cord, we've lightened it up to lighter than most of the other suspensions. And we think that it's going to work really well. Seal your hammock up and get full potential from the quilt.